<laughs> Fair way to start. Not bad. <laughs> okay, is it going to be four? Go on then, which, which side? Fifty off. Thirty off. Well, it's great footwork, isn't it? Just a slight oh, change, and they can flick it either side. Mm. Just a slight shift of weight almost mm. to one side or the other. Oh, that's what the crowd are come to see. Sheer brilliance like that. I reckon against Not anyone else, this would have been a winner, wouldn't it? Yes. Or if they got their racket to it, it would never have gone over. That's a tremendous shot. Just look at this. And it's a matter of fact, he does it every day. <laughs> 205. The trick. Bruno clenches his fist and uh, he has started. Mar oh, yes. Beautiful the way he just angled his body out of the way. 15 That's the thing, I mean, he gets so much feel from his shots. points that Pedro is able to control on the Rebredo serve. 14-30. Juicy point from Federer. Yes. yes. Well, you know, as soon as that volley goes in, it hasn't done enough. And which way is Federer going to hit the pass? It's hard to spot. by the line judges at the moment. It's cooler down there, but it's not going to win in the match. Oh. And now it just seems a matter of time. In the last seven or eight minutes. Little weight shift into the shot. Yeah. 
game. Oh, did you see it. that kick? Outrageous. <laughs> did he move his racket? I don't know. <laughs> because it's Roger Federer, you think he probably did. Just slightly, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I think he might have. I think he might be trickier than Sterling. That's my own thought. <laughs> Meanwhile. Meanwhile. <laughs> seven aces. Help me put him off. But that wasn't. So it was hardly a crisis him dropping that point. <laughs> On high sense. Well done, lovely little dink shot there from Robredo. Fifteen. He's fast though, isn't he? He gets up there with time to spare, so he can choose a shot. Either way. This is Federer class, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Emphatic finish to a game. Just for a moment, you thought there could be a... Two games off. Just into 2011. Interesting listening to Leighton Hewitt. What a good commentator he is. Was... Glorious shot. 40 15. Going out, but obviously not right on top of it. Fifteen up. Caresses it in. It's all you need. It's one of those you don't want to hit to length. Well, seen some extraordinary things in the first week. But oh no. <laughs> Set him up for that. Swinging quite as freely. But no tension in the Federer run, and that's the problem. <laughs> yes. <laughs> He's still playing as if this is a practice match. He's kind of lulled himself into sleep here. <laughs> Robredo set, but for me, Federer was sleepwalking through the... 
can sort of cloud your mind. Mm. You look, look clouded in there. And now Robredo, of course, has got spring heels. He believes he could be onto something mm. here. Love 15. Yeah. Oh, he's certainly moving like a spring chicken. Mm. Maybe he doesn't trust him. Oh, that certainly had a bit more sting on it. Fifty long. He's back. Best shot for what? 20, 25 minutes. Mm. And there wasn't much room for it either. Turns the shoulders and just creeps in the court. And he's got break point here. Lovely play from Federer. Yes. <laughs> Much with it. Try. He was giving no shot to tap, wasn't he? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Fabulous play. Robredo played his part. I'm just fascinated by the moves he makes when he comes in. He moves quite late, but seems to get to the ball early. <laughs> it's incredible. His reaction time yeah. is brilliant. Especially for this shot coming up. Yeah. Raiders volume not up to Federer's standards. And Federer is Federer back in front. Over on the uh, Hysens Arena, Francesca Schiavoni has got a, a break against Svetlana Kuznetsova. It's four games to two. Remember that match on Pretty Sure Sport 2 right now. Thomas Burdick. Setting a break up against Fernando Vidasco. Maybe he's got to come back from two sets down again. But we're sticking with this, and why wouldn't we? <laughs> yep, little alley there from the Fed. Shaked up like he's going to hit it. 
changed it to a drop shot action. Here we go, going to hit it now, and then he just changes his grip very subtly. Enjoy that. He's snapping himself back into action here. Oh. <laughs> Robredo is determined to keep it that way. Yes. In. Look at where he's positioned. This had to be exactly right. Not a top on there. <laughs> so that oh, wide has been practicing so much. <laughs> yes. They're trying to crowd it. This is when you've got to keep. Yeah, one way to That's the most comfortable game of this set. And it goes Pretty to the Spaniard. Early. forward to give that a mighty cloud. Must have felt very good that shot. Mm. But that's what he was kind of shadow swinging. He was like getting onto the ball, get driving through on the forehand side. And that was done beautifully. One part of his body wanted to do it, the second part didn't. <laughs> <laughs> he always makes that strange noise as he's running to a drop shot. But it was good when he got there. Yep. It wasn't coming back. Look at the top spin on this. Forty love. What a shot that was. Read the serve perfectly. Still playing pretty well. Pedro's form has fluctuated wildly. 15 over. Huge swing, wasn't it? The racket head speed. It was awesome. Okay, purposeful play from the Spaniard. Follows it in. I don't think Federer actually saw him come in that time. It's an easy volley. He was a bit cross about the one he missed. He made up for it here with a bit of attitude. Oh. 
try volley, he's done. Super angle. Set you. Yeah, a couple of meters from the baseline. And uh, big smiles. I think Mecca knows that uh, it's not the authentic Federer here. It's by that. Well, that's his four wheel drive, that's for sure. 30 15. Was at its best on heavy clay. And the fact that he's done reasonably well here suggests to me that he finds these balls uh, enjoyably heavy. Yeah. Oh, Ramos from Robredo. Publicity for the doubles there. Eh? He did. I don't know what round it was, but they very nearly went 15. 59. <laughs> beautiful point from a beautiful player. On a beautiful day. pace on that sort of volley. I thought Robredo was admiring his backhand down the line. In fact, he stands virtually stock still here, having played it. Yeah. Didn't lose a point on serve in the first set, Federer. All got to do this one there. Gliding continues. A really powerful penetrating backhand return. Found the line. 30 40. Yeah. And is that the decisive breakthrough? For Roger Federer, set Federer with the break. Yeah. Well, I suppose he's got used to playing so deep, but to make a pass from back there, he's behind the Melbourne side. He's trying for that little bit extra, and it'll go down as an unforced error, but we know it's really more than that. Because Federer just puts undue, unnatural pressure on his opponents at times. Oh, well, it was a great pickup from Roberto. Still giving it absolutely everything. called getting stuck in. Yes. Well, I wondered whether it was the, the, the noises that uh, Azarenko is making out here. I oh, know it's not, it's Robredo, isn't it? <laughs> it's something similar. <laughs> it is. 
and he was he was getting a, a louder pitch each time, which amused me. I don't think it amused Fedra. Very seldom he'll speak to an umpire. He did it against Del Potro in New York. Rare. Well, he's got him with that cross court again. I think it's actually very difficult for Robredo to so spectacularly well. Fedra has to take uh, evasive action, covering the line more. Again, he's just so deep for the return, even though it's uh, obvious. And again, so Robredo has got to change that, surely. Championships. <laughs> Exhibition lost, no. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> well, he missed a return like that in one of his other matches this week. He's getting the hang of it, though. Well, he's changed it all around. He's gone from the ridiculous <laughs> to the sublime. It's just another one to add to the shot cupboard, isn't it? Again, trying to get it down the line, but just... Uh, not able to find uh, that accuracy there, Federer. playing right into Fedra's hands. Break point again. Yeah, and that's Federer. wide. Breaks Robredo for the fourth time in the match. And sure goes by. The foreign players. Hardly hear that on the strings, that final shot. Mm, I agree. Back up to <laughs> made it. Yeah, and that ball he just hit straight into. So you think you'd allow him to serve with a bottle in your head? <laughs> is when you see him at his best you just wanted to see it you want to see it all the time you, you, you don't want a genius every time you play you can't be normal Well, he could have made it even more difficult. He was trying to get... He played. It was well played. 
Yes, doing to Federer a bit of what Federer's been doing to other players. To the right court. Everything today. In the nine losses since, he's only gained two sets before today. 14, 14 30. 30. It's commendable, the fight he's put up. <laughs> Tightening of the reins by Federer. 50 -0. A oh, good little uh, squash shot by uh, Robredo here, but he must wonder whether it's all worthwhile when he sees this.